slavery. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, Andrea, good morning, Zach. We're coming in, we're all together this morning, wow. Uh, good morning, Vicki. Hi, Bill. Just uh, awesome friends, all of you. Just uh, This is great to be together. Penny, good morning. Nice to see you. See who else comes on in this morning. It's fun to just... Uh, Marla, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Kate, good morning. This is awesome. <laughs> it's great to be together. And uh, just welcome to the 40-Day Worship Challenge. And... Uh, 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 this is day number eight. Can you believe it? We're on day number eight of our second challenge, and we're just journeying together. Good morning, Casey, Evelyn, Larice. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Wow, we we we've gotten through day uh, four through seven. We call those our push through days. Those are those are days that are we're challenged to create and develop a new habit and. What we're doing, good morning, Patty. What we're doing is we're endeavoring to just give God the first 15 minutes of our day, just surrendering our will over to his will and receiving his love. Of course, we have our Bible, worship, music, our journal, our pen. We've got our survival kit, or we can call it our thrive kit. And we're just getting there. And this time together is just a primer and encouragement for that time alone with him. Some of you have already had your time and this is just a, a, an encouragement to that. Some are moving into that time and so it's just that we can be together linking shields. Uh, I'm so encouraged. The number eight is the number of new beginnings and I, I wanted to say this to you this morning because I felt it from my heart to you that I believe God is doing something new in our hearts, in your heart, in my heart, during this 40-day period. He's doing something new. And eight is the number of new beginnings. And I want to believe that during this time, God is going to do something so creative and new inside of you. And you don't have to work it up. You can just rest in the fact that as you're with him, God is doing a transformative work inside of you. This is to me so powerful that it's not human effort that's trying to bring about the change. It's just simply our willingness to get there with him and allow the power of the Holy Spirit to transform us by the renewing of our mind and bring us into something we could never come into. I wrote there is more in you that God wants to reveal to you and bring forth from you. It's, it's such a process of God doing a work inside of us. We first experience his love in that dynamic. Then it's all about the overflow, what it's, it's, he's going to bring forth out of our life. And I, I wrote down here, you're a conduit of God's love and his power. That what God wants to do is, is, is bring his presence in you and then work it out through you. And you're a conduit of his love and power. It's so exciting that, that, that we can allow the Lord, the flow of the Spirit, to do something in us that's extraordinary. I wrote here, you're a vessel of honor. God is transforming you. No matter what your past is, you're, be, you're here right now, and you're being brought into what God has, and he's going to do something so incredible and so new in you. you. All you have to do is have an anticipation for the goodness of God to bring forth that which is new. You'll be amazed from 40-day worship challenge to 40 days, 40, 80, 120, what he brings forth out of your heart, what he brings forth out of your life. And so, in, and remember, it's not you doing it. It's the Holy Spirit working inside you. And all we're doing is cooperating with the work of God in our hearts. And I, I also had this thought, and it's something that I believe is for now, that you are his ambassador on the earth. 
You're his ambassador and he's doing something amazing to bring forth something dynamic through you and, and just rest in it. Let's settle it right now. The devil <laughs> is a liar and a thief. So whatever contrary thoughts are going on in your mind, we just have to take those thoughts captive to the obedience of Christ. God's tearing down in us strongholds, vain imaginations, things we've thought about ourselves that are keeping us bound. And as we sit with him, he's destroying, he's breaking up, he's defeating those places in us that would restrict the work of his spirit in us, that what he wants to do in us is, is so above and beyond, we can just settle it now. He's going to do way above what we could ever imagine as we just spend time with him. Let's just say, uh, God is revealing in the mornings who you are in him, who I am in him. And the true you is coming forth. I, I'm excited about the true you, the, one, the, 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 the person in you that God has made you to be. And as we sit with him, he is going to release in us who we were fully meant to be. And he's defeating the lies of the enemy. Our shields are linked. I wanted to share those thoughts with you this morning. I believe this is the number of new beginnings. And as we continue into this worship challenge, as we continue into this surrender challenge, God is going to do remarkable things in you. Don't be surprised if people look at you and say, you're changing. Something's different about you. And you just say, well, I'm just meeting with the Lord in the morning. That's all I'm doing. I'm just letting God do it. If you see something, it's a reflection of him. And uh, I believe that is what God is accomplishing in us during this season. Let's just let him do the complete work. I know sometimes it's very uncomfortable as he begins to shine his love and his light inside of us. It reveals things that we have to change. And so that's okay. Just cooperate. Just say, yes, Lord. Just say, Help me repent, renounce it, just receive his blessing and move on and into what he has. And just let that continual transformative work of the Holy Spirit continue to happen. Uh, I just want to, giving God our first thought, this is what our whole idea has been over this uh, first part of the challenge, is giving God our very first thought, our and it, it changes, like we said, the trajectory of the day. It just does something in us. This changes, I wrote this yesterday, but wanted to say it again today. This changes every aspect of who we are. The, the very first thought, the very first thing we do in the morning will change the entire trajectory. So what we're doing is we're giving God the very first thought, the very first thought. Thing. We're, 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 we're training ourselves, we're disciplining ourselves in that regard to give him the first thought. Because if we don't, our thoughts will go, they'll be chaotic. They're, they're chaos in us. So we're learning to give him the first thought of the day. He establishes in us both emotional and mental stability. God wants us to be emotionally and mentally stable which then impacts every area of our life through our attitudes, beliefs, and our actions. We become the person he created us to be. The five essentials are to establishing our first thought. We've been talking about those. And, and I want to open up the idea of giving God thanks. Being thankful. And, and this is our fifth essential, giving thanks. But I'm looking over here at my clock and I'm realizing my time is all gone. I wanted to share with you about the number eight and the new beginnings that are happening in your life. Tomorrow, we're going to wrap up the five essentials and the word thanksgiving. So don't miss tomorrow. We're going we're gonna to cover that. I've got some really good thoughts on that. But I don't know what happens to the time. It just slips by. And anyway, this is meant to be a primer to your time alone with him. This is meant to be an encouragement to you. Let me read uh, day eight, uh, Psalms uh, 24, one through five. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, 
The world and all its people belong to him. For he laid the earth's foundation on the seas and built it on the ocean's depths. Who may climb the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? Only those who have hands, only those who have hands and hearts that are pure, who do not worship idols and never tell lies. They will receive the Lord's blessing and have a right relationship with God, their Savior. We can give thanks for Jesus that he has done an amazing work in our life. I'm going to pray for you, and uh, let's just give God thanks. He's doing something new inside of us. There's a new beginning. He's releasing something. Tomorrow we'll talk about Thanksgiving. Lord, we thank you for today. We give you thanks for what you're doing in our heart, what you're doing in our mind, what you're doing in our spirit, what you're doing to make an exchange. Lord, we thank you for this new beginning. We thank you for the release of this new day. We thank you for what you're accomplishing. We give you thanks, 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 thanks. We want to be thankful people, grateful for everything you're doing. We give you all the glory today in Jesus' name. I thank you for every person coming on. Bless them today in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I want to encourage you in your time alone with him and in, uh, have an amazing day. And I'll see you again tomorrow, day nine. We'll talk more about thankfulness. Blessings. Have a great day.